Welcome to Spacecraft Guide, the channel that goes over the most iconic spacecraft in the world. Hi everyone, this is a, just a thank you for my Patreon subscribers and because of that at the end of this there will be a special, uh, just a little section for you, a little bit more explanation on what would happen if the ascent module lost part of its control surfaces or thrusters in this case and how they would get home. If you are not a Patreon subscriber, please subscribe to me and our Scracecraft Interactive Virtual Museum. And not only will you get the bonuses, but you will be able to play with all of these controls on the spacecraft. Thank you. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we are going to continue our work on the explosive devices and what they will control outside the aircraft, uh, spacecraft, which, if we blow it up here, will be these thrusters or the reaction control system. And on panel eight over here, we will be talking about the helium pressure RCS or reaction control system switch. And when you click on it, it takes you to the helium pressure reaction control system switch. And what this switch does is when it the switch is spring loaded to the safe position and it has a fire position, the fire, actu uh, he fire position actuates helium isolation explosion valves that permit helium flow from the helium tanks to pressurize the power A and B propellant tanks. Positive indication of the helium valves actuation is provided by the RCS pressure indicator. Safe removes power from the valves. So to look and see how this valve actually works, we're gonna to have to go to the RCS pressure switch. So if we come back here, we're gonna go all the way up to the reaction control, whoop, the reaction control pressurization, uh, control pressure system indicator right up here. And when you click on it, it takes you to the reaction control system pressure indicator. Now this is the indicator um, be, that goes between zero and 4,000 PSI of the helium tank and uh, for the helium regulator outlet and fuel or oxidizer manifold, uh, manifolds and systems A and B. And what we want to look at specifically is the schematics. And in the schematics, we see these two pressurization systems, and we also see the RCS fire switch. So when this switch goes off, uh, when we put it into fire, it opens both of these valves here and here, and then also here and here. So what we're looking for is the pressure, this pressure gauge, we so it's so the selector down here is going to do um, helium for both systems A and B. So that is going to tell us that that valve did open for A and B. And again, it has a, a dual failure system. So if A doesn't work, B works, or if B doesn't work, A will work, or they usually how it's supposed to work is both of them work together. So we let that helium through the system and it opens both of the valves here, two for system A and two for system B. The pressure comes through, and as you see, we have the check valves and they come through each side. We have for fuel B and oxidizer B and that pushes the fuel then goes into the manifolds here and then we have more shutoff valves but these valves pressure uh, uh put go into the engine 
Now these valves here, or these manifolds here, uh, you can see one is for fuel and one is for oxidizer. Now they come up over here with the fuel in oxidizer. You can see system B and system A. And then if we follow this manifold to where it connects and it comes this way and this way, and then we follow the fuel, which goes up to here and then comes down to here. These are the thrusters of the RCS system. So this is where they're, they get their, the fuel and oxidizer to actually power the thruster and the thrusters steer the command module as it makes its descent and ascent from the surface of the moon.